All right, next is another book review called um, Tough Without a Gun, The Life and Extraordinary Afterlife of Home People, got by Stephen Kunzberg. And this book, the ending made me cry. I talked about his death, and um, I don't think I would, honestly, but I talked about his son a lot. Son was eight when he died, and had a daughter who I think was five, I don't remember, four or five, so was pretty young. Um, but he, they, uh, his son, like, came in and kissed Humphrey on the forehead and was the old that, about that, and we cried. Um, so yeah. But, honestly, in the book, there's not a lot I didn't already know. Um, but, actually, I pretty much knew everything already. <laughs> Which is weird because like I got a lot of my information on Wikipedia and I'm not the most reliable source. <laughs> but um, everything I read in the book, I was like, I know that. I read it already. But the thing is, it's weird. It's, like I can read a million different Audrey Hepburn biographies and I'll be uh, completely okay with knowing everything. But come to the end, I think I didn't know before about Audrey, but um, Humphrey... Since I had already read about him, I kind of already knew, so I was kind of like, okay, I'm not ready. But um, it was still nice to hear about him and Lauren and how much he loved her. I never questioned that ever. I know how much he loved her. There was never a question about that to me, like, oh, he did really love her. I know he did. He really did love her. Um, just the fact that he didn't divorce her <laughs> says it means a lot, actually. Um, he was with her for 12 years. He died, you know, the 12 years. Um, and they just had a really great relationship, lots of respect um, and love. And he didn't like to be away from her too long. Um, they felt like... He depended on her a lot. She was like his crutch, and he felt strong when she was around. Um, I forget what movie it was that he wanted her to do with him, and he said no, and he got mad. I don't remember which one. But he wanted her to pretty much be his leading lady in every movie he did because he didn't like a lot of people. He liked her, but obviously he, she couldn't, but he was always like, I want Lauren, and I'm like, no, she can't. But there was one movie, to get, I don't remember exactly, but she, he did want her really bad, and I'm like, no, and he got mad. But, um, but he had also a best friend of Peter Lorre, which I already knew. <laughs> um, yeah, he was a really good friend of Peter. Um, again, he didn't like a lot of people, but he liked Peter Lorre, and he liked Sydney Green Street. He was also in Casablanca and Monty Falcon with him. Because they weren't Hollywood, Peter Lorre was not from America. He's from Austria. And um, the actor who played uh, Sydney Green Street, he's not from America either. I think he, I don't remember where he's from, but I don't think it's America. So they didn't really grow up here in America, and they were just acting really to um, have a job. <laughs> That was it. It wasn't like they were wanting to be famous or anything. And I think that's why he liked them so much. They were not like big-headed actors. They're just doing their job. And that was it. And that was how he was. So that's how we became best friends. And Peter was just a sweet man anyway from what I've read. So I can just see anyone liking Peter. Um, but Humphrey liked Peter Lorre. He's kind of the one that... I think that his career started because Peter was in the movie before he knew Humphrey and it was a really big movie. It was in, I haven't seen it, but apparently it's very good and very creepy and has Peter Lorre and he's a, a child killer. No, <laughs> but, yeah. Um, but he got him the role in Maltese Falcon, that's what Humphrey did. Um, and that became... They became really, really good friends. And Sydney Green Street, um, I think Comfy helped him with two, I'm not sure. But Sydney was, no, Sydney was Green Street's first movie in the Maltese Falcon. And um, all three of them just became very good friends. Um, you know, 
when Humphrey died before uh, Peter, Peter didn't go to his funeral because Humphrey just didn't like funerals. Oh, I mean, I mean, he would. But Humphrey just when he when he died, he just wanted people to um, he wanted to get his memorial service out of the way. <laughs> he didn't want people to stand around crying and mourning him. So like, I think there was a few people who didn't go because of that. They knew that, whatever. Um, but, uh, Peter and, and Humphrey were again, like, best friends. And there's a movie, I forget what they did. It was after, um, Maltese Falcon. It wasn't Casablanca, another movie, but they would keep making each other laugh a lot. And, like, they, during their, during a take, they just make each other laugh and they wouldn't just get mad because they were, like, taking too long to the movie but they didn't really care about the movie that much she thought it was a kind of a dumb script so they just kind of messed around um a lot and um yeah when humphrey came on set he was not into the movie and then he saw peter and he was like oh he got really happy because he got to meet to work with peter and so there's only a few people <laughs> there wasn't a lot of people that humphrey actually liked he liked peter Sydney Green Street, um, Captain Hepburn, um, obviously Lauren Bacall, his wife, um, Judy Garland, um, Danny Kay, who was with him. Actually, he and Danny Kay had a falling out, but then, um, Danny was at Humphrey's funeral, so I guess, um, it was okay. <laughs> um, I like a lot of, he liked... I guess he liked the people that weren't completely obsessed with Hollywood or being famous. Those are who he liked and respected a lot. Um, he didn't like Audrey, <laughs> which always bothered me, but now I'm like, whatever, he didn't have to, but it just kind of bothered me a little bit. He didn't like William Holden um, at all. And he wasn't the kind of person to talk behind their back. Like, he didn't like you, and you knew it. So, you knew what you don't like them. Um, oh, this cat is, like, trying to kill me. But, yeah. Um, and Humphrey, he wasn't the most affectionate father. He didn't know how to exactly show that very well. But he did love his kid a lot. Um... His parents weren't the best to hit towards him, so he didn't know how to cheat of his own kids. Um, but he said that he loved his son a lot, and he said he hoped he knew that, and I hope he probably did. Um, he didn't understand. His, his daughter was, like, two at the time. He loved her, too, but he didn't really get a chance to really get to know her very well. Um, but, yeah, the book was, was pretty good. I mean... There's a lot of people who don't like it, but I didn't, there's a lot that he didn't have to write, actually, but they put a lot of information in there so you don't miss anything. So it's pretty good, actually. If you want to read it, read it. I love Humphrey Bogart. He was a tough guy, but very gentle, sensitive man underneath all that. He loved Lauren, loved his family, and yeah, I appreciate him. So that is all. Goodbye.